Hey guys, and welcome back to Sims 2. Today we are in Clayfield in the Manhood, and we are standing outside of Edison Max Giddle's apartment. And uh, yeah, I felt felt like uh, today I want to do a little longer episode, maybe cut it into two parts or something. But anyway, uh, I thought that we could actually. Uh, spend a little bit of time decorating its apartment and later we are going uh, shopping with Ed, with Ed and I think it's going to be fun so anyway guys here we are and it's one of those uh, little apart apartment buildings that I have quite a lot of quite a lot of uh, in Clayfield in general and I really need to <laughs> build some more um, apartment lots and actually guys in fact, there are are not too many of um, residential uh, lots. Whoa, a little bit of lag there. Um, yeah, there are not too many um, lots available in in the main hood, and I really need to add some more. But anyway, so so let's see. We have already uh, decorated a couple of these apartments earlier. So it's probably very familiar side for you guys. But anyway, uh, this here is its apartment. It's a two-story apartment with a little kitchen, kitchen uh, living room, downstairs and the bathroom, and upstairs is two bedrooms. And yeah, let's see. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so... Um, let's see, we have met Ed uh, earlier at the frat house. So Ed has just recently uh, graduated from the from the university. And <laughs> to those of you guys who have been uh, following my updates earlier, you may remember that Ed actually had quite a lot of problems with his studies. He didn't really roll too many ones about studying uh, in his first couple of uh, years in college. And I think he got into the acad academic uh, probation at least two times. <laughs> so it's quite uh, quite a miracle actually that he he uh, still managed to graduate, but you know he has been a good boy recently, and he did roll once to study um, for the past couple of years in college. So he he made it, <laughs> yay Ed, good boy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he moved into this little apartment. I had some plans earlier to actually move it to the family house which used to be right next door right here where this empty place is on the right but uh, for some reason my game is a little buggy and uh, if I start if I plan to move sims to a, a lot that has been previously um, occupied uh, it doesn't work when you move the sim, sim in the lot opens uh, on buy mode and the sim doesn't even appear on the lot so I had to unfortunately unfortunately uh, bulldoze the original Max Guido slot and it moved here but that's fine that's fine uh, yeah so um, yeah I'm just babbling but anyway so yeah Ed, Ed, Ed moved to this apartment and the plan is that uh, his fiance Joel is actually going to move move in with him later this round let's check it's actually day 47 and uh, this current round lasts until day 50 so we have three more days to play with Ed on this round and Joel is going to move in on day 50 and uh, Joel is uh, expecting as you may remember and uh, yeah so this room here is going to be the baby's room and this bigger one is obviously going to be the the main bedroom so anyway in enough babbling let's just go into decorating oh 
Okay, so let's see. I'm not going to do anything too fancy, just some basic things. Let's see some walls first. Mm, yeah, so um, I have a rule in in my BACC that I'm actually not sure if I remember to mark it down on my life journal. But anyway, uh, all Sims who graduate from the college will get the uh, default 20,000 simoleon uh, sum for their pa uh, bank account, uh, which is which is basically a uh, you know help from the city. The city wants to support all those all those Sims who who are actually <laughs> graduating. And um, yeah, so it has it had the twenty thousand simoleon uh, when he came back from the college, and he has uh, almost thirteen thousand left. So compared to some of my sins in this hood, <laughs> he's he's quite wealthy ac actually. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Let's go with that one. Um, yeah, so uh, even though I usually usually like to uh, make my Sims get some uh, used furniture, especially if they are not, if they don't have too much money, uh, I think that it he here is going to be just fine, and uh, we are actually going to get some some new stuff for him. So let's see. Hmm. I'm kind of all over the place here. Actually, yeah, let's let's get all the walls and floors first. Hmm. Actually, I kind of like this. Actually, that's fine. Let's go with that. Okay, so bath uh, the bathroom is ready, and let's see upstairs. Actually, I like this. It's kind of a neutral color. That's nice. Let's see. Uh, hmm. 
yeah you can go to 720 if you want to see who made this uh, this wall okay so that's the uh, bedroom and I want to change this okay there you go Okay, that's better. And yeah, this is going to be the baby's room. And since we don't know yet if it's going to be a uh, girl or, or a boy, we will just need to go with some some colors that go with both uh, genders. Sorry, wallpapers. I have so many of them. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Little uh, helicopters. Okay, let's go with that one and let's see. Do we need to uh, change the floor? Hmm. Actually, that's pretty nice. And yeah, I do sometimes use Max's <laughs> carpets. I know that some some of uh, us Simus don't really like to use those, but I I do sometimes. I do. Uh, okay, I think we have the basics here already. I'm not going to fuss too much about the walls and uh, floors. I just want to get things done. Okay, so here we have the basics already. And let's go with the furniture now. And uh, I'm going to... I'm going to send it uh, to buy some things that are available on um, on uh, owned businesses so so there def uh, th there is definitely some things that we are not going to buy from the from the uh, uh, catalog here okay let's see the kitchen Okay, there and hmm. Actually, let's let's buy a food processor. Yeah. Okay, so hmm. there and um, I'm not going to buy the smoke alarm because they can can buy their own from the uh, fire station anyway. And let's see a dining table. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm not going to fuss too much about the furniture either. 
I'm that sort of player that I just want to slap some something <laughs> on the walls and floors and grab some furniture and be done with it so, so that uh, I can actually focus on playing. Now that's interesting, but I don't think so. That's actually nice. Hmm. It doesn't really go with the ch uh, table. Hmm. Okay, why not? <laughs> this actually used to be one of my favorite chairs when I first started playing. It's kind of funny. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, and there's space to add one more chair when the baby grows up. And I really hope that uh, everything goes well with Joelle's pregnancy. Because earlier she unfortunately had a uh, miscarriage. And yeah, so he she's uh, pregnant for the second time now. And uh, oh yeah, they can actually buy the TV from the hmm from the cool store. Okay, so we need to remember remember that. Um, yeah, so I, I really hope that everything goes goes well with Joel. Hmm, that's nice. That's actually matching. Okay, and a couch. Sometimes interesting to see what kinds of um, what kinds of choices you will make when when decorating a uh, some some house or apartment. I didn't really have any plans about what kind of color theme I'm going to have, but apparently I'm going with some very uh, light light colors for the downstairs and lots of white. I like it. I think um, Ed is probably going to decorate the thing, um, you know, the the kind of furniture and colors that he he thinks uh, Joy likes too. Actually, that's fine. Okay. Hmm. We do. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, so we do actually have a uh, flower store in in this city, but I think we are just going to buy some basic plants from the catalog. Mm, that's fine. And let's see a couple more of these bigger plants here, maybe. Okay, there you go. And let's see a table here. Yeah, sorry guys, I I uh, need to pause or mute the, the mic sometimes because I'm I'm kind of losing my vo uh, voice from now and then.
it's already um, fall or autumn here and uh, I did manage to be outside with two little clothes on the other day when I was walking the, uh, the dogs and I felt that I'm getting sick but hopefully I'm able to uh, stay healthy enough so that I don't really have to suffer too much about it. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have apparently some kind of um, green thing going on. But that's fine, okay. That's fine. Okay, let's see. Actually, we could use a a lamp here too. Okay, there you go. And maybe some little little uh, painting on the wall here. Um, yeah guys, I definitely feel like <laughs> like it is decorating this apartment uh, for Joel. But anyway, I think it's turning out pretty nice. I... whoa! <laughs> I really like this color, color theme downstairs here. And... Let's see, he has almost 9,000 left, so let's go with the bed next. Uh, so yeah guys, uh, we are going to take Ed uh, shopping in just a little bit and... Hmm. white hmm. um, yeah shopping 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 and we are going to go at least to the uh, baby supply store obviously and we are going to mm, go get some electronics and what else I have had in mind? Mm. Yeah, the uh, clothing store. So you can actually see some of the... <laughs> Sorry, cause my dog is... Uh, my younger dog is actually... He's very funny. Um, when he is relaxing or sleeping, he makes this really, really funny sound. It's like... Um, some sort of chronic or what's the word? Um, uh, yeah, I I can't explain it. But anyway, he makes really funny sounds. Mm, that's I don't know. Oh, it's too yellow. The bed frame that is. Okay, I was. I was talking about something. Hmm. And I have no idea what I was saying. But I guess that's fine. Hmm. 
Yeah, a, a lot of light colors apparently for this apartment. But I like it. It's neutral. It's pleasant for the eye. Okay, there you go. And let's see. Hmm. Some plants maybe to here too. Yeah, the computer desk. That's what I what I need to get. <laughs> That's funny. I love this this lamp. And actually let's get some some books up here. Okay, that's fine. And Hmm. Mhm. Mm I feel like putting a cactus up there. Where are all my cactuses? Hmm, maybe not. Okay, that's fine. And maybe some kind of painting here too. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, yeah, let's go with that one. And the baby's rooms. Uh, so yeah, we are going to go to the baby supply store and buy uh, the crib and changing table and and all that from there. So I guess we will just need to have some maybe some pictures here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm obviously decorating this room for a little boy, but yeah, we'll just have to see if it's a uh, girl or a boy, or maybe we will have many babies, who knows. Okay, that's actually fine. Uh, yeah guys, so we actually have some basic stuff here and I actually really like the downstairs. I really like this color theme. But I think these chairs are a little too spacey. <laughs> so let's see if we can actually find something.
something better. Hmm. Actually, let's just go with some basic cheers. That's fine. Okay, so the apartment is now ready. And we will actually uh we are actually ready to go shopping and get so get some of those things that are um still missing like the baby supplies and a computer and TV and uh, hmm, some new clothes. So guys, uh, I will actually end this episode here and in the next one we are going to go shopping with Ed. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this decorating episode and as always I hope that you are having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!